So today I'm going to show you guys how to do the coolest piece of wall art I have ever made in my entire life and maybe possibly ever will make in my entire life. How I explain it is like it's a mirrored geometric mosaic piece of wall art and um, it took me a really long time to make. It took me like 23 hours total to make this. Um, so it's going to be a project for you guys if you want to make it. But um, I just, I posted a picture on my Instagram and you were like, like, please post a video. So I was like, got you covered. I already filmed it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a loose description of how I made it because it is so difficult and weird to make that like there's no way everyone's going to look alike. Like if you make this, everyone's will look different. So, which is good about it, because then it's like so personal to you and like, it's just like a really cool piece to have. Anyways, let's just get into this DIY. Okay, what you're gonna need for this DIY is this mirrored poster paper that I got on a craft site called Happy Hippo, a scalpel, pencil, and this fast grab glue that I also got from the Happy Hippo website. Now let go. So basically what you're gonna do throughout this whole DIY is you're making pyramids out of these pieces of mirrored paper. So I took my first piece of mirrored paper and I'm measuring the sides of um, how, what length I think that my pyramid needs to be. So I'm just made little marks on the side and then I take a pencil and a straight edge and connect them so it looks like two faces of a pyramid. So then I take my scalpel and I'm cutting the two outside pieces. And then once you pull that out, you're gonna take your scalpel and you're gonna not fully cut the middle piece, you're gonna score it so you're not cutting through it, you're just gonna make it so it has a little crease in it so you can bend it easily like that. And then after I see that it's going to fit, I need to make a another piece for the back of it so it's not open. So what you do, it's called like a reflection or something like that. So you basically make an outline of the back piece so you can see what the shape that it needs to be and you like match it up to the pyramid that you already have. And then you take your scalpel and you cut it out and when you put it up to the back of your like pyramid, it should fit perfectly, just like that. And so what I'm doing is just matching it up putting some glue on that boy and you just stick the pieces together and the fast grab glue actually takes a few seconds to really grab it so you kind of just works out best if you just squeeze it together for a few seconds with your fingertips and then it is like a diet all right so now that you know that that's gonna fit and line up with the other edge you're just going to glue that stick it in hold it for a few secs and BAM there you go, now do that a thousand more times. your piece is basically done you need to mount it and if I was to do this again I would have put it on like a poster board so it was nice and hard backing so I could stick it on my wall but I didn't do that because I didn't think that far ahead so what I did is I put a bunch of papers on the outside of it took some tape glued the paper to the back of this and um yeah then I taped that bad boy onto my wall Okay, then I just added some flat pieces to fill in the space and kind of make it look like the piece was actually coming off of my wall. And then you is done, homegirl. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. I hope you think that it's as cool as I think it is. Um, let me know if you guys try it. You know, tweet me if they're tag me in pictures on Instagram if you try it. Um, also, comment down below if you guys can think of a name for this. I really want to name it, like give it some kind of name, but um, like I don't know what to call it. So yeah, leave me some ideas down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.